The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. This is episode 129 yes. of the freaking podcast. 129 episodes. And listen, we realize here on the Pope on Film podcast that, that we've done 129 episodes and that's not even including the special editions or the kids can you stop fighting right next to my recording space I would appreciate that I'm trying to do a bit here that's not even including the special editions we've released and the 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 spin-offs that we've done of the podcast we create a lot of content here on the, the show. Yeah, the commentary tracks. Yeah, and the commentary tracks. We've done a lot. We've done a, we've we've released a lot of things and as a result of that it is possible, however unlikely that you may not have heard all 127 episodes that have uh that was way too much jello, Bella. Are you trying to make Eleanor choke on jello? Are you trying to kill her? Are you trying to kill her? <laughs> You're going to make her choke on Jello, And then she's going to end up in heaven and they're going to say, so what's your name? And she's going to go, I don't know. I can't talk. I'm only 11 months. <laughs> All I know is Jello was involved. And they're going to be like, that's adorable. Because all they're going to hear is ah, blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. So try not to kill Eleanor, okay? Especially right before her birthday. Okay? Okay. All right. Seriously, smaller bites. She's not Andre the Giant. <laughs> She's Eleanor the Tiny. Freaking remember that. So what we like to do here on the show, Maxwell, can you not be boxing a can you not be boxing an actual box while I'm recording the podcast? You can play, just not actually box an actual box while I'm doing the podcast. And now the baby's upset. This is a very exciting episode of the Pope on Film already. I haven't gotten started with my first freaking bit. So what we like to do here on the podcast is we like to get you up to speed. You, the listener... As a public service, really, because yes. we're, we're heroes. We are humble heroes here on the show. We like to start off the show with a previously on the Pope on film to get you caught up with all of the plot lines and double crosses and, and, and all of the things that happen on, on the show. So we would like to do that now with a segment that we call Previously on the Pope on Film. Yes. The house was reeling from Amber's shocking elimination during last week's Last Chance Challenge. Uh -huh. The okay, six was... remaining house okay. members formed uneasy alliances as Emerald and Bella teamed up to try and remove Maxwell from the house. Yeah. Natasha won immunity for the third week in a row, and people were not happy with that, especially, especially... Uh, Eleanor, she was uh -huh. really upset that Natasha won immunity for the third week in a row. Like, basically, everybody in the house hates Natasha right now. But she keeps winning immunity Lisa! during the immunity challenges, which means she can't be voted out. Uh -huh. So everyone's just waiting for the week when Natasha loses immunity. That way they can vote her out. It, 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 it's very, very tense. Yes. But, but during a very sticky last chance challenge, it was Emerald who was set packing. Now it's down to only five. Who will be the last one standing to claim the one million dollar prize? Find out tonight on a very exciting The Pope on Film yes. adventure. I added adventures at the last second. What'd you say, Bella? I just realized what you were referencing. What was I referencing? Of course, I'm referencing the classic reality show. Eight is enough. Yes. No. I was. It, that was a reference to the classic reality show. Church. Nope, not at all. Yeah. 
You know what would be great if there was like a church service, but it was like a reality show church service. Yeah. If someone like a like a Catholic church reality show and it shows like like peace be with you and also with you, then it's one of those talking head interviews afterwards. God, I hate doing mass. That fucking sucks. And then it has like the nuns trying to kick out the priest and then there, of course, there'll that, be romance. That would be, that would be interesting. I, I just never got too terribly into uh, reality shows. I yeah. watched the first and I think the second season of Big Brother. The yeah. first season. Oh, yeah. I, I watched the first couple of seasons of Big Brother. Yeah, yeah. but you can you could tune in to the ca- the, the house cameras. Yeah. Through um, real audio, fucking real audio. Remember that? Oh yeah, I remember that. So you used to, they had they had a feed from all of the cameras, and the first year it was free. Yeah. So you could just check out and see what's going on and who's going to the bathroom and what are they doing and you know all of that kind of stuff. Um. And like only one season of Survivor did I did I get into. I never saw Survivor. I've never seen a single episode of Survivor, and I'm really proud of that. And uh, now the guy who who uh, created Survivor is one of the people who created Lucha Underground. Woo-hoo! Really? Yeah, Mark Burnett is is one of the. Like main executive producers of Lucha Underground. Wow, he's amazing. Yeah, the season of Survivor I, the season of Survivor I liked was the season where they had brought back previous survivors. Yes. Yeah. So everybody already sure. knew how to play the game, and it was fucking cutthroat. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Yeah. They. That's. Man, it must have been really difficult for them to get Richard Hatch. What with his busy schedule? Yes, I'm sure, he was super busy with things. That's like what I was going to say about Orlando Bloom in this movie. <laughs> okay, it's, uh, it's, uh, we'll 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 get to this movie. I don't yeah. want to. I don't want to blow my load too early. <laughs> 